Module 1.3 Customising the Form Book and Introducing the System Builder Welcome to Module 1.3 of your Proform Professional Training Course. In this third module we look at how to customise the Form Book to suit your own style of research and handicapping and we'll introduce you to the System Builder. But first we will take a brief look at each of the tabs within the Form Book. This is just a brief overview of each of the tabs within the Form Book. We'll cover each one in more detail in further training modules. So we start, we're on the race card. Race card is the tab where you obviously see the race card, or if you're looking at a result, you'll see the result of the race. And down at the bottom, we've got our form tab, which we currently have selected, and this is showing the form for the horse selected, in this case, Westlake Demand. And you can select an horse, either down the side here, or from on the race card itself and the horse form tab refreshes to show you the current selected horses form. The prior form tab is basically exactly the same except it shows you all of the horses form in one tab. The in running tab again is the horse form tab where we've added extra in running fields. The graph tab shows you the proform speed figures for each horse plotted on the graph. Trainer trends, once turned on, is the trainer's form split up into various categories. Pattern matcher, once turned on, is the horse's form split up into various categories. Moving to the top, trainer and jockey stats allows you to see Statistics about the trainers and jockeys that we've run us in this race. Full collateral and horse collateral are collateral form screens. Post form will only show up when you're looking on a race result and will show you the form that has happened since that race. Horse notes and race notes are fairly self explanatory. Once again, it's just a brief look at each of the tabs. We'll cover them in more detail in future training modules. Customising the form book layout. The form book can be customised to suit your own style of research stroke handicapping. In this section we will cover the following areas of customisation. Sizing fields and screens, hiding and showing fields, moving and hiding tabs and a glossary of form book field descriptions. So we're back in the form book again and you can size the screen in these various ways. This bar allows you to left click and drag and size between the two tabs vertically. This bar allows you to drag and size between the viewing history and the middle of the form book. This bar allows you to size vertically between the individual races selected and the horses in a race and this little chevron allows you to hide or show the button bar. In every grid and pro form that contains silver headings you can size fields by moving the bar in between each one you can move fields by left clicking, holding down and dragging the field side to side. You can hide fields by right clicking and choosing hide. And you can bring fields back onto the screen by choosing right click, show fields. And the list of available fields on the screen are shown and you can scroll down and add back in any particular field and scroll sideways it reappears and move it back to where you would want it and if you've resized a few out of sync you can right click on the column heading and do auto resize the way this screen set up by default is tabs are at the top and the bottom. You can move tabs up and down using these buttons. 
So we can choose the pattern matcher and decide we want that at the top. Or we could decide we want it back at the bottom. And we can customize these in more depth using the tab customize button here. This allows us to, within each top section or bottom section, move items up or down. Move an item from the bottom to the top, or from the top to the bottom, up and down within that section. Or if we don't want to use the split mode, we can have all the tabs at the top by selecting don't use split mode and clicking OK. The fields shown by default on each grid in the form book are not all of the fields available. If we look at show fields again, we can see there are many more. You can add these fields in by just ticking them and clicking OK. And for an explanation of what each field is and the data behind it, there's a glossary available in the members area and within the help file. Introducing the System Builder. This introduction will cover the following. The concept behind the System Builder, a first look at the System Builder, and creating your first query. Trainers in form with runners today. The System Builder and Research Tool is a very powerful and complicated part of ProForm. In this module, we will introduce you to the System Builder concept and show you how to perform a simple query. There will be many more modules in this training course to cover the System Builder in much more detail. The concept behind the System Builder is to allow queries against the horse racing database to find profitable strategies for backing, laying and trading horses. We achieve this in an easy to manage three way concept. Select your criteria. Select how to report or present the results. View and analyse the results. Let's take a look at the Freeway System Builder concept on screen. The System Builder concept is to select criteria, choose the report type, and then view the results. Criteria are selected on various specific tabs. So criteria based on dates are in the date tab, race in the race tab, horse in the horse tab, and so on. The reports are on two presentation tabs presentation and presentation of ratings and the system results will be shown in the system results tab. Creating your first query. Trainers informed with runners today. So we'll look at trainers who have runners today who are informed in the last 14 days. So we're back in the system builder and we want to look at trainers records over the last 14 days in the date criteria tab we enter 14 in the restrict the system to look at races from the past number of days we only want to look at trainers who have runners today so we choose today's date from the calendar and we want to look at the trainers runners on this day so we choose use trainers runners so we've made our criteria choice in the presentation tab we choose by trainer which in this case is already selected and then we run the system from the green button at the top and this returns all the trainers with runners today and their last 14 day record their number of runs they've had in the last 14 days the wins and their strike rate the profit you would have made at Betfair SP profit to industry SP and so on and further along is more information about wins and places etc. We can sort the results by the number of winners descending or ascending the same as any, any grid you just click on the column heading or by strike rate and if you want to have a look at these individual runners in detail we can double click a particular line and Richard Annan's record in the last 14 days is shown and also at the bottom any runners he has today 
or tomorrow as well in this case as shown down at the bottom and we can quickly drop into the form book if we want to have a look at this particular race that's running today we just double click the line at the bottom choose the race name and drop into the form book well, that's a very brief look at the system builder We'll go into much more detail in future modules. And that's the end of module 1.3. Tomorrow module 1.4 will become available to you. In the meantime, watch this training course again and practice what you've learnt. Play around with the system builder and try out a few ideas. The more you use Proform, the easier it will become.